Welcome everyone to another video. Today we are testing Kaspersky. This is the free edition. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 75 samples in total. And this is the list we will use to test this antivirus to see how well it does or does not do as far as protecting us against these threats. And so the procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in Kaspersky. We'll let it sit for a few minutes just to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a full system scan. And then if there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. And then after that, we will execute the remaining samples to see if the real-time monitoring and protection can protect us. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and just make sure that we are up to date. And we are now up to date, so let's go ahead and enable the real-time protection. And we'll just make sure everything is turned on here. Okay, that should be everything. Now we are just using the recommended security level because that is the default setting. Just please note that there is a higher setting, but again, we're just testing with default settings. And so we should be good to go. So at this point, again, we're just going to let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own. All right, I've waited for several minutes. I haven't seen anything pop up. Let's just double check our samples here. All 75 are still present. I don't think anything's been removed. So at this point, let's go ahead and let's run a scan. Let's do a full scan. We'll get that started. And then we will be back as soon as the scan has completed. All right, the scan has completed and gives us a report here of everything that was removed. So we can just run through this. And it looks like it just automatically deleted everything here. Uh, but let's go ahead and hit delete all files. So it looks like it actually quarantined them. So let's go ahead and hit delete. And then let's check our samples folder. It looks like we do have one left here. So let's try scanning directly and see what happens. And it says no threats. So let's go ahead and try to execute this remaining sample. And so far nothing's popped up. So what we're going to do is go ahead and restart the computer, after which we will run some second opinion scans just to verify that nothing got through. I ran a scan with malware bytes and it came back positive with one result detected, so we will go ahead and quarantine it. I ran a scan with MZSoft and it came back clean with zero results detected. And last, I ran a scan with Zamana, which also came back clean. Just a quick recap, we started out with 75 samples of malware. All but one were detected and quarantined by Kaspersky. That one sample that was missed was a PUP, or in other words, it was adware. So it's not a serious uh, piece of malware, but it is common. And so we do like to see those detected and removed. Nothing was actually installed on the computer, but the installer or executable file itself was not detected. And so please remember that this is just one type of test. Even though Kaspersky got most of the samples in this test, it may perform differently in other types of tests. Also, please remember that there are still security concerns with Kaspersky solutions, with them being from Russia or headquartered in Russia. I'm not going to go into that. You can research it on your own, but I do just want to mention it. With all that said, you can draw your own conclusion with this information. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.